Hello everybody, welcome to um, Winteros versus Chelsea Zola. Um, yeah, so it's, it's interesting. Uh, Winteros has gone for reroll Apo, and Zola's gone for three for two rerolls, and then he's got an extra one from the the uh, roll off here of the kickoff result. I don't know who won the toss, um, but. If Winteros has the luckiest team ever, he'll definitely win because I think, I think you know everyone's good in the World Cup, and it's probably going to come down to who's luckier most of the time. So, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I joined late, unfortunately, Drake. I, I joined late, so I couldn't. I couldn't tell you who won. Who won the? Uh, who won the? Who won the kickoff? Because um, because I was doing the replay of Noampto versus Spartaco because I didn't realise they'd played. Can I check it? No, you can't check it on the log because I, I I joined too late. There was no log to check. If you join late, there's no log to check. If if you join when you do when you go to a replay you can see but when you join live you can't oh wow a chasm turn one a leader wow so Zola left his leader blitzable at the cost of basing a catcher and went Ross blitzed him and removed him <laughs> so pretty good pretty good start there wasn't it. <laughs> wow, he also could have gone for a 75% dodge to surf the catcher as well, which he didn't go for. It was lucky, but um, yeah, I, I'm, I, I don't think I would have gone for the 75% dodge in to surf the catcher, but it's something that you could have done. Yeah, he's, look, ultimately, he blitzed. He blitzed somebody and cast him. It was, it was on Zola leaving, leaving, the, leaving him blitzable, wasn't it? There was really no need to. Um, but he did. Yeah, he went with one reroll. Did he reroll the pickup? And again, he could have protected the ball more on the pickup, you know? It was, that was like, that was Spartacore like there, just, just one guy in front. If he had rolled a one on that pickup, uh, Zola could have steamed him and stolen it. And the problem is, although he got that hit on the leader, it does mean that um, Wentros has exposed his his dancer to a to a tackle blitz. So, though if he does if he does blitz the dancer, then maybe he'll get someone sir. That's a that's a big concern. So he's pretty safe. Just the fact he's got the threat of the frenzy. Yeah, but the thing is, though, Drick, you see, you say that, that's why I'm running with an apple, but now when Ross has got one reroll for the whole half, hasn't he? So it's like, it's, it, it, you really can't say one's better than the other, you know? It's, it's just, it's just going to be what it is, isn't it? You know? War dancers, yeah, war dancers are historically overpowered. Yeah, the fact that your opponent's got one one reroll, it does encourage you to press him, but then on the other hand, you're, he's already down a player. Um, he doesn't want to end up getting down more players, does he? It's, it's interesting, isn't it? I, I don't think there's ever one one way to play something, but I think I'd probably be inclined to, uh, to pressure. What I don't like particularly about him exposing the leader behind that way, the cost was basing a catcher, which can't hit him back. If he'd hidden him behind a lineup, and then at least, uh, at least you could hit back, but it's really hard for him to hit back against this guy. Now. Yes, yeah, the tackle, the ta and the same with the, t the tackle strip. That's what that's what I said on my predictions, which unfortunately I didn't have time to upload with the other game taking place. 
but on my predictions video I did say um, I kind of I preferred Zola's way of stacking because it leaves him the option of the mighty blow tackler whereas the mighty blow stripper is nowhere near as good as a mighty blow tackler so I did like the way I preferred the way Zola built his team than the way Wentross built his in terms of the war in, in terms of the war boxes. Bit of a wasted blitz that wasn't it, just hitting a, a kind of unimportant dude and dodging away from his potential hit. I think I would have rather hit him that way and then got two assists in and blocked back. <laughs> it's all a caller. <laughs> Let's try and let's try and fucking post that I'm streaming the World Cup now. Anyway. <laughs> oh dear, it's in there. It's got not cola, Coca Zola. <laughs> no Zola cola, like roller cola, isn't it? Yeah, it would be Zola cola. Um, wow, what a what a crazy first block that was, isn't it? One dice from one tree to another. Is that Zola trying to get lucky? Well, he didn't. <laughs> he stunned himself. So I, I do, I did do my, I did honestly think when Ross win this, but for some reason, on my on my predictions video that I made, I picked Zola. <laughs> but never mind. Oh yeah, DX. I didn't think of it. Yeah. <sighs> I think maybe, maybe I, I kind of agree with uh, Drake um, that if I was Zola, I would have probably, yeah, probably try to put some pressure on there. Just the fact that he is on one, try to base up the linemen that don't have dodge, try to make him roll some dice and stuff. But you know that, that that's just 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 because just because we think that it doesn't mean it's right, does it? <laughs> okay, let me let me put this in there. And this one here. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I am on the right. Burp, burp, burp. God, it, it's it's really this is really messed up with it. I don't I can't even watch the game because I'm just having to post post on the discords and the Twitter and everything. Um, I really it would have been much more much more uh, organised had had no I'm done Spartaco not played. That took me completely by surprise. Um, one in 
136 from Wenteros. He had to. And and there you go, see, if 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 Zola had pressured, he would have had you know, he would have had to have re-rolled that and he'd have been out of re-rolls. So um you know that 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 was the argument there for pressure, wasn't it? You know, if he if he'd had more than just this catcher here, if he'd had a dancer here or something, he would have had to re-roll that. And uh yeah. All right, then. Yeah. I've been more than fair to, to consoles. More than fair. Should we stun? So yeah, like, like basing up the catcher isn't so good because what you want is you want to base up his line holes and that but don't have dodge, don't you? So that he's having to make rolls that he hasn't got re-rolls for that he doesn't want to have to make because he's only got one re-roll. I have arranged my game, Palestine. It's uh, tomorrow at uh, 15.30 UTC. It's, you, can do, you can do exclamation point calendar, and that's all of the scheduled games so far. Well, not all of them, probably. Most of the ones that have been announced. <laughs> because... Uh, because Nando versus Sparkle wasn't in the Oh, he's gone for the one dice blitz. Interesting. Yeah, now he's got this dancer here. Like, if that dancer had been there last turn, um, he'd have been up shit quick. I'll be streaming it, Calistine. Yeah, hopefully I can get a Haring's order someone uh, to cast it. Maybe Shawnee. Um, somebody, somebody could cast it because you know I'm just going to concentrate on winning. I'm not going to have any distractions. I'm just going to try and play Blood Bowl. Absolutely concentrate. Glorious. Thank you very much, Blom. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Thank you very much. Twitch Prime, glorious. Thank you very much. Oh, it's good to be back. Good to be back in Blood Bowl, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry about not playing Blood Bowl for a long time, but you know, it's, it's, it's been tough times. But um, yeah, oh. You build 1,100 and then add the skills. So Wood Elves are 1,180 and the Humans are 1,230. Um, and the same for the other tier 1, tier 2 teams. So yeah, tricky now, isn't it? Very tricky for Wenteros. Despite the look of the uh, first turn Kaz, he's in, <laughs> he's in a hard situation because he's got to get the ball to a dancer, really. You know, because otherwise he's on a fucking strength two guy, he's just going to get hammered. Because he's got strip and tackle. Maybe he's going to try and potato. Oh, this is a real, real hard situation. No, I Glorious. Thank you very much. Twice hopped. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Glorious. Thank you very, very much. Um, yeah, little Yoshi. Look, the, the dino thing, that, that was never going to be long term. You know, it was just it was just a bit of a break. I needed it. I, I, really, I really got committed trying to 
qualify for the World Cup, even though it's likely it would just be one game and done. You know, half of the people are going to be one game and done in the World Cup. So movies I shouldn't have dedicated, been so dedicated to qualifying, but there you go. Um, now I'm going to be obviously trying to cast all of the games. Uh, I'll cast as many as I can live, and the rest I'll do the replays of. So I, I will, I guess I will cover all 63 games in the World Cup. Either, either, uh, either live or not. Um, it's tough though, isn't it? It's tough to cage up. If he goes there, and then he's got a double screen, so he's got to make dodges without dodge. He's going to have to hand off as well, and he's, you know, he's going to have to make dodges without dodge. It's, he's in a horrible spot now. These two stuns, and uh, yeah, particularly only having one dancer. He's, he's got to get it this dancer. Really. He should have already picked up on the dancer anyway. First turn, he should have picked up on the dancer. I, I, I don't like not picking up on a dancer against other wood elves because. Why would you not have the ball on a strength three carrier? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? The, the, particularly with this guy with block, tackle and strip. That's ridiculous. You cannot hold it on a catcher. So he basically committed himself to making a handoff at some point, which which is another two plus to roll. No, he, he had because there's no way he could put it that, that he couldn't just leap in for a one dance. Now at least he's. Now at least it's a leap in for an uphill, isn't it? You know, with it, with a dancer getting it's a leap in for a, for an uphill now, um, or potentially a one. He could potentially leap in for a one dice here as well. But um, you'd have been screwed with the catcher. You can't have it on the catcher again. Pretty bad, I don't think. Too way too risky. Way too risky to hold it and, and you can't catch it. What about the pro elf run? <laughs> yes, I feel that died today. And, uh, yeah, but it was it it wasn't hard. It was some two plus rolls. Well, at least three three without a team reroll. Uh, without without a skill reroll, three two pluses without a skill reroll, fifty fifty to have used his last reroll. I mean, he would have had to reroll them. That was the thing, wasn't it? Um, so it was it was a horribly risky turn for him. Um, so not yet, nor does he. It's hard. It's, you know, that's the thing. He's making him roll the dice. He's making him roll the dice. That was about as good as he could do. He made, he made him a lot of. Oh, he's through. He's qualified, but he hasn't played his first round game yet. Um, you know, that's all he can make him do is make him roll dice and hope he rolls a one. And then he's once he's on zero rerolls, he's uh, you know, it's bad times, isn't it? The question is whether to keep this guy as a scoring threat or maybe try to get him more involved. Arguably, Drake, I don't think he has to. I mean, he could still try to, to exert pressure, couldn't he? Um, but the fact that he's got three guys on the wrong side, I would, I would want to pull them back and try to get everyone on side again. He's got one minute to <laughs> Might as well have done. I mean, they really might as well have done. It's better to walk. And, you know, why not? Why not make the one minute turn? I wish one minute 30 was an option. Because I think that would be, I think one minute turns are really tight. And, uh, I mean, he's, Wentross has a frenzy tackle, in fact. But he, he was just stunned last time. I mean, you have to make it three, but three is like four, isn't it, in the old one, really, with the extra 15 second chunks. So three is, you know, they definitely could have made it four. I think four would be a touch too long. I think three's enough. You know, I think three's enough for competitive games. But, you know, cyanide aren't really about having the best, you know, the best quality or the best, you know, coach or anything. They want an entertaining cup. Um, to sell the game and everything, aren't they? So, in that regard, um, 
why not have two minutes or one thirty? Yeah, I'm sure I could win, Colestine. Yeah, I was, yeah, I do remember the old, the old think fasts. Um, yeah, of course, a time bank would be the best Brownmeister, but that was never going to happen for the World Cup, was it? Yeah, yeah, that's that is the problem with that. Yeah, 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 that is the problem. So you know, the best option would be. The best option would be a time bank. Disconnect. You disconnect timer is a time bank. So that, to me, that would be the best. The best answer. Um, so then, if you disconnect, you've got less time to think on a crucial turn, and, and you know and stuff like that. So I think that would be okay. The the time bank is shared with the disconnect timer. If, if, if you can see what I mean. So everyone would have like a six minute time back or whatever, and then like two minute turns and no fifteen seconds. Yeah. You shouldn't you shouldn't have any time to decide on your buff dice. Because that's that that's horrible with re-rolls, you know? You shouldn't have to decide. You shouldn't be limited to fifteen seconds to decide whether to re-roll something that you didn't anticipate failing. Or or like something that only fails one in thirty-six. So what that means is you've got to think about whether to re-roll a one in thirty-six action before you take it every time. Um, and you should only have to think about it one in 36 times, shouldn't you? So, yeah, they already do that. Yeah, exactly, Connells. But I don't know if that bug's been fixed or not. I think they did fix it, actually, just after it happened to me. Uh, I was thinking about using an apple or something, wasn't I? And then I ran out of time because it just stopped. <laughs> that was pretty disappointing. Yes, he's just staying where he is. That's fair enough with the two down guys. Get them both up. Oh man, the removal. Brave Dave. He may be brave, but he's unconscious. <laughs> Three removals, pretty big for Went Ross. I need a cup of tea. Just, just shout some. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't have time to make my own with with this surprise. The surprise replay happening. Um. Exactly, definitely want a global turn time for sure. It's horrible, like, yeah, you know, it's horrible that you've got to. Exactly, Wolfbuck, you, if you make a block, you've got to think if I pow, will I follow? If I don't pow, will I follow? And, and that might take, that might be a 30 second decision. And you've got to make it before you make the block because otherwise you've only got a 15 second, second uh, thing, so it's. It's really bad. It's really, really bad the way it is at the moment. Really bad. Because you're making so many blocks a turn, and it, and basically, it fo you know, it forces if in the World Cup, you know, because there's so much on the line, you know, I'm gonna try to use all of my available time every turn and think if I roll, you know, what what will I do in all these kind of situations? Will I re-roll this if it's this? And and I'm gonna have to think about it all because with 15 second chunks. It's just bad, isn't it? It really is bad. It's, I think it's bad game design. I think it's fi fair enough on your opponent's turn, you know, like 15 seconds to use sidestep, 15 seconds to use the apple, all these kind of things are fair enough, but I think on your own turn, giving you an additional 15... You, you should be able to choose one minute... You should have one minute 53 to choose whether to re-roll that or not. You know? You shouldn't have to think before you make the block. You should you should make the block if it's a pow, 
he chooses the pow. If it's not a pow, you should have 1 minute 53 to choose to whether to re-roll it. What you shouldn't do is think for 10 seconds before making the block, which would be okay, you know, but then he's still, he's still got to think before he makes the block, because if he if he takes 20 seconds there, he's on, if he doesn't think before he makes the block, he's only got 15 seconds when he makes the block, which is crap, isn't it? And, and you do that multiple times a turn, so it really does impact the length of a match in a negative way, and in a hugely negative way. So there you go. <laughs> Maybe Dr. Mama Bosco, yeah. Yeah, so I really don't like the, the, the time thing. I think it's a real, really is a problem. Yeah, there should be like a ping on the screen, shouldn't there? Like, there should be a sound effect when you get a sidestep. That's true, Matty, but still, you know, you, you, even then it, it forces you to play suboptimally um, if, if it's not the World Cup, you know? Off, you know, I, I know I should think about things for two minutes before doing them sometimes, and sometimes I do in, a, in the playoffs or if, you know, whatever, if it's a close game, but most of the time I just play suboptimally and and just go for 15 second things. Um, yeah, that, that looks like it could be a surf if he wants it. Um, it pretty nice if he can, if he can hit from here, because then he could, no, no, he can hit from there, he can push him to there and then push him there and then out, and then that leaves it a lot safer. And, um, yeah, so that, that looks like a, problem is it's turn five, and he might want to try and move around to get a little bit forward, but he's not going to get that much far forward because he's so far over this side. Three, six, seven, eight. He's only going to get one square forward. Uh, but then one square forward is one square forward, isn't it? It just depends. If he, if he wants to get forward, he doesn't do the surf. If he doesn't care about getting forward, then you might as well go for the surf because you can always take the power, can't you? You know, if he if he hits from here and gets a power, he pushes him to there and he's powered him. If he pushes him to there and then he powers him there, he can just move the cage over a little bit anyway. But, um... he, he would be he would be making three of the blocks with block and only one without block. So I wouldn't have hated going for the surf there. But I think I would have maybe just try to try to go down this side. Or wow, it gets the Kaz anyway, it doesn't even need the so. Um or maybe just move back to the middle so you've got options to go either way. I think he stuck himself out on this side, he, he's not really got the option to switch, has he next turn at the moment. I like to leave myself options. You're very welcome, failure analysis. <laughs> He's definitely getting the better of the dice, isn't he? Two cars and two KOs. Absolutely getting... It's not a dicing yet, but it's uh, it's certainly brutal. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he did name his team luckiest. <laughs> luckiest team ever. And if he is the luckiest team ever, he's going to win the World Cup. That's it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Onani. Yeah, I really hate the 15 sec. Oh, wow, I really hate the 15 second thing. Because, you know, they, um. They probably. They probably didn't realise how bad this 15 second thing was when they did it. You know, I don't think programmers understood that you might need to take a minute to re-roll something. And they, I'm sure they didn't realize that then you've got to take that minute before you do something. Even if there's a one in 36 chance of you failing, you now have to spend that two minutes before you even attempt the one in 36. So now you're taking 72 minutes instead of two minutes. You know what I'm saying? And it's, or you just, or you just commit to it and then you've only got 15 seconds to make a crucial decision. So I, I really hate the 15 second chunk thing. And, and you know, if I could change Blood Bowl to, to have like a time bank and you know, not have this 15 second thing, I totally would. Um, 
I really hate the 15 second thing. So if it, you know, if there's one thing that you know, I'd really like to change it to that. But, um, but there you go. That's a bit off a tangent. I don't know why it came up the the 15 second thing, but uh, a little bit of a tangent. Oh, because the time bank was mentioned. Oh yeah, because the whole the how long to have the turns. So I think I think if I was cyanide, I think it would be better to watch if the time minute, the time limits were like one minute thirty and no fifteen second chunks or whatever. I think that would be then better to watch from like a Twitch and you know YouTube perspective. Keep them keep them quick and have people having to make fast decisions and stuff. Um, I think that'd be better. But with the, the fifteen second chunk, you could totally game even one minute turns. So. I don't, you know, I think I think the three minutes is good. Lets people make the right, you know, gives people enough time to make good decisions. Um, so yeah, I think for a for a competitive World Cup with lots of money on the line, I think three minutes is good. Uh, I think four minutes would probably just be a bit too long and boring. But I think one minute would be more exciting. Well, one minute thirty without the fifteen second chunks would be more exciting for viewers and stuff. Maybe a bit look more look involved, but that doesn't matter to sign that, does it? <laughs> Global time would be would be an idea for sure. I think the chess clock would be annoying because people would run the whole thirty thing down. And I would like I would like a global time limit per turn, and then I would like the rope in Hearthstone. So if people, somebody doesn't do anything on one turn, they only get like ten seconds for their next turn or something, so that you know to stop AFK being a problem. Now he's really left it open, hasn't he? Zola's left it open for him to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight or something. Get get more central. Uh, obviously, this isn't a, this isn't dissing Zola. It's because he's down four players, <laughs> so he can't really, you know, if he if he had another four players, he would be shutting him down right about now. But as it is, um, there's not a lot he can do. But he's trying to squeeze forward. Interesting. Yeah, exactly, Thomas Griff. Yeah, it would be global timer per turn. Yeah. yeah. Not like chess clocks. Yeah. yeah, time bank. A time bank of like six second, six minutes or whatever, which would be the same as your disconnect. It would be shared with your disconnect time. That's what I would want. Yeah, the move was weird because he just hasn't got the movement to clear this. Um, very strange. I would have, I would have thought he would have, you know, either dodged there and blitz there, or, or dodged here and not dodge others to try and just go more central. He's still got two turns after this. Very strange. Yeah, the dice are a huge factor. I mean, the, this is just pure luck. Pure dumb luck that he's made for four removals and he's made none. He hasn't vastly outblocked him or anything. Um, yeah, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> and have to get another skill. Maybe he's gonna potato with like this guy, just fuck off over there. Weird, isn't it? I and mean, he's got a catcher here and a catcher here. So maybe he's gonna run all the way around and like cage here. But it's uh, it's a bit risky, isn't it? And he's sort like there goes that idea. He could have got he could have got that catcher there. This catcher could have gone one two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we could have got a catch around there and like gone over here or something. But I don't know why he throws back then. Oh, because he's gonna, because he's gonna hand off to him and go for a pass. Oh, okay, so yeah, so that that leaves him safe from the strip for sure. And he's double ones into a stun. Yeah, so that that was his that was his thing. Go for, he, he definitely can't get stripped. I guess he thought he couldn't cage anywhere, so this way he doesn't get stripped. 
and then he's got the ball on a thrower to do a passing play next turn or on turn eight so it makes sense because maybe he just realized he'd done goofed and he just couldn't cage here safely um, but I think the play would have been to have moved the cage round to here. Uh, my, in my play, anyway. It's not risky for the luckiest team ever, yeah. Fair enough, Mitha. <laughs> Fair enough. It was a very strange. I feel like he wanted to go down the sideline, then he realised he just wouldn't have enough to make it safe, and then, and then he came back. Striker's death roller. I honestly did like the death roller, but the more I thought about the death roller, it seemed like a better choice. It wasn't even. It wasn't even mean. Can't surf now, can you? Got the power. But I mean, he's got he's got a well. I don't I don't want to say I don't want to give anything away in case anyone's watching. You know, I, because yeah, I'm not saying that I'm better than Chelsea's Zola, um, or I would see things that he wouldn't see. But the point is, when you're actually playing blood ball, you do get a kind of tunnel vision. And anyone can spot something you couldn't spot. You know, you, you really do. It's a real problem of, of blood ball. You know, playing blood ball is, is getting the blinkers on and not seeing things. So I'm, I'm tr really want to try and not say anything that somebody might, might not have seen. Yeah. The, the thing is, it's, it's just the. Dwarves just don't get that much for the extra, you know, that's the thing. They, they get a re-roll that they don't really need, an apo that they don't really need, a positional that they don't really need. So, <laughs> you know, the reserve they don't really need. So there's there's lots of there's lots of stuff that the dwarves just don't really need that they get from you know, that the, they don't pay a lot to get the, the death roller when they've got to spend it anyway. Like obviously a min-max team would be better if you could use inducements, you know? But seeing as there's no inducements in this. Oh wow, he was, it's in here. Um, okay. I'm double scholars. <laughs> Did he double GFI to get there? I don't know about that. I think maybe he's overcommitted there. That was just to base the ball, making all the two plus. Now he can, now he can, he's, he, he's fucked. Um, I'll try not to swear. I think he's, I think he's made a bit of an error there as Chelsea Zola, because now um, he's got, he's got a dancer that can reach, but maybe he can blitz this dancer somehow and he can screen and double layer and everything and he can get the ball away and probably make it quite safe now. I think you overcommitted getting three players down here. That does seem like a bad turn, doesn't it? But I mean he's only got he's only got seven players, to be fair, so like, you know, it wasn't three words. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck made an error. <laughs> if you want to be part of team positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better. Okay? <laughs> I think he's fucked this right up. <laughs> um, yeah, I think he, yeah, I think he did fuck it up a bit there. Yeah, I think that three play when you when you've got four players off the pitch, committing three players to chase the ball. For fuck's sake, Tony! Is stop being is shit. Is a lot, isn't it? Is to is to just take him down, who wasn't going to be much of a thing anyway. And yeah, he's gone for the handoff and the run away. And all he's got to do now is push this dancer and he won't get served. Cows him. Cows he he kills him, in fact. Um, now, <laughs> obviously, Chelsea Zola was horribly unlucky to have his dancer killed on the block. 
Um, but he gave he gave Chelsea Zola no other option. Uh, he gave Wentros no other option but to blitz that guy because of Zola's zealous chasing of the ball. Had had he had he uh, you know just blitzed somebody and you know he only had seven players on the pitch, so I think he should have tried to do something. You know, play very conservatively because that that catcher. I said that's but he probably wants to go for this catcher, didn't he? And you know, and, and then that's when I stopped because I didn't want to maybe influence it because you know it's it is a tough thing, isn't it, with a with a casting out. I don't wanna you know if Zola's in the chat and then he, he sees something as I mentioned it, that's really unfair, isn't it? So I'm trying not to say you know things, but um. You know, I think he should have definitely had. That's it, man. Game he should have definitely over, just kept man. that Game guy over. back and, and screened him off and stuff, so he would, have had, he would have had options to react. And instead, he went full bore trying to get, uh, make him roll a two plus. Trying to make him roll a two plus on turn seven is not so good. When he was doing it on turn th two, three, and four, when he was only one re-roll, but now, um, yeah, maybe he's a bit tilted. Yeah, you know, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, casting without seeing it was good. No, well, without in advance, hard back. You know, I don't want to try and I really don't want to try and you know give the game away or whatever. Um, yeah, maybe I could cast with a delay. Yeah, it's something to think about in future school, dude. Yeah, maybe it is. It would kill the chat interactivity, wouldn't it? Um, or maybe only do. Hmm. Then if there's a delay, it's not live, is it? You know, this is live. Um, because I'll be replying to people two minutes later with that. <laughs> Mate, he's up. Yeah, you would watch the game two minutes behind live. I would, I would be cast. I would be watching it live and saying stuff, and then you would see it two minutes later. Exactly, Steel Drake. That's what I said. It, it doesn't mean that I would be better than anyone. You know, you could have, you could have, uh, you know. If you have to listen to Dimmy's cast while you play for tips, you've already <laughs> lost. <laughs> Thanks, Onania. Um, yeah, yeah. The delay is really bad, isn't it? I guess yeah. Do it all. Yeah, I don't know. But then it would catch up slowly, sneaky. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's it's tough. I'd rather just, I'd rather retroactively say what he would have done. Um, than, than say. No, but no, it, no, Mippy. You know, like, look, it could be. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, you don't have to be better than somebody to spot something that they haven't spotted. So, I don't want to maybe draw attention to things that people... Yeah, exactly. I should just try and to get... I just need to try to get used to not really giving stuff away. Because I do it myself on my own stream. You know, when I'm streaming my own games, I don't really want to give away things to people who could be watching. You know, and then I don't want to have to say, oh, no, leave the stream. Because I think that's crap, getting people to do that. So, um... No, you know, I, you don't have to be better than somebody to spot something that they haven't spotted, you know, for sure. So, um, there's no frenzy here, is there? But Zola's got three, four, five, six, seven players, eight players, can't count, three, six, seven, where's the eighth? 10, 11, no, 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 just, just not being able to count how, how many were on the, off the pitch. So seven players, I think he might have enough to one turn with a whole method, probably. Um, he does the whole method. Blitz with a tree. There. 
pushes him to there, then he's in three tackle zones. And then he's got a four plus, three plus two plus gone. So pushing there and stuff, I don't know. But yeah. Um. <laughs> I just think it's. It, I just think it's. You know, you don't have to be better than somebody to 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 see something they didn't see. So it's. It. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm it's not like I've got a massive ego here saying I'm fantastic and I'm going to spot things that other people aren't. You do tend to get the blinkers on when you play Blood Bowl yourself, and you know, even if you didn't, it's easy for one person to see something another person doesn't see. But I do want to protect myself when I'm playing because I think asking people to leave the the stream when I'm playing is is lame. And I'd rather not give my, you know, see spot things that my opponent maybe didn't spot. So he just settled for a riot there. I think he could have done it. One, two, push it there. And then he need one, two, three, um, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he could have one turn there. It wouldn't have been easy. He would have had to um, pass it to the catcher in two tackle zones. And then he would have had to have done four, three, two. Uh, sorry, four, three, three, two dodges. But... Yeah, he definitely could have one turn there for sure. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I don't have to be, you know, I could be an egomaniac saying that I'm better than everybody and that, and that's why I shouldn't give anything away. But I'm not saying. That. Yeah, he should have. Uh... Yeah, I, I just don't want to go that way twice. You know, I just want to try and try and do it live when I'm streaming my own games, and you know, try and do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, Wolfpack. Yeah, he'd rather not lose because someone missed a play and then got coached by a caster. Exactly, Wolfpack. So it is. It is a problem, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what he was doing then. I just don't. I just don't even know what he was doing. What, what he was doing. Um, was it Sunny? I don't even know who he passed it to then because he rolled the two. So I don't even know who the fuck he was passing to, how he was trying to score. No fucking clue. What was going on there? Yeah, maybe he is, but he's got seven players. He could he could have one turn and he could have still won this game. But yeah, he probably is tilted. I mean, you can't blame him for being tilted. He's lost his leader. He's lost his super dancer. Um, you know, I think I think maybe when Ross going for the apple is a good idea when he's got skill stacked on his dancers. And I guess actually having the apple is better in later rounds when you've got skill stacked on people. So. I guess early on maybe the re-roll's better, but later the apple's better because yeah, everyone's gonna have stacked players, aren't they? I didn't think of that when I, when I wasn't taking the apple. I was thinking of my qualifying games when those skills were stacked, but now skills are gonna be stacked. So if you've got a mighty blow tackler or a blodge guard, you really don't want them to move, do you? So maybe I should have gone an apple actually, but never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair enough, Wolfbar, and uh, and vice versa as well. You know, the, the I've seen games where somebody has said something, you know, and then the opponent's done it, and it makes you wonder if they're in the stream listening, didn't it? You know? And. Uh, and of course, anybody can can just get on Discord with their mates and get coached, can't they, in the World Cup? But I'd just rather not be the person responsible for it. If you know, I would really, I really don't want to be the reason somebody makes a play or sees something that they wouldn't have normally seen. You know? Just in general, when I'm playing my own games, I don't want to do that either. So I should try to get in there. 
try to get in the habit of being retroactive about the plays that could have happened. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's probably not a good for, probably not a good idea, Pedro. <laughs> yeah, can't hold it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's obviously it's hard for Zola now. He's gonna feel really, like it's gonna be hard. It'd be hard with seven players against eleven, even if even if he was, you know completely calm and co cool calm and collected but chances are he's uh, he's tilted a little bit for sure <laughs> yeah. well, this looks like so this looks like two dicings really doesn't it it looks like uh, no, I'm still pretty much diced Spartaco, and it's looking like Wentros is pretty much dicing Zola. <laughs> Three Kaz and a KO. No, I'm still did like four Kaz and a KO or something. And it's the way it goes with Woody's, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true Wolfbag, yeah. Exactly, Brown Meister. He's still got a chance. Yes, Spartaco lost in the first round. Unbelievable. <laughs> no cake in Augustus. No cake. Um, what day is tomorrow? Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what the plan is. I haven't thought about the food tomorrow. I'll have to think about it tomorrow. Yeah, Satterfield, yeah, it's... Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it, Satterfield, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, Lupak is the master of false tips, isn't he? Oh, man, white Twix. I would love white Twix, but... I probably can't get hold of it, it's just random when it when it appears in the shops. <laughs> Maybe Red Joker. <laughs> Maybe. It looks like it looks like an Xbox is going out here. Now the kebab is not so easy though, because you've got to go to Hanel to get it. So the uh, the Derner is not going and we just had it the other day, so Derner's probably out as an option. Yeah, Steel Drake. I don't think there's any rules against having a committee. Uh, though obviously it's disgusting. And I wouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's under. Yeah, Lupak did that all the time. He, he, he would call out horrible, horrible players. And then his opponents would do it. And you know, what a dirty Dino. Yeah, exactly, Wolfpack, yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with that 100%. I, would, I wouldn't dream of, of getting one of my mates on the, on the blower or anything. I mean, it could easily do it, couldn't it? I could get, hell, I could get. I could get. <laughs> I could get hippie and. Uh, Hippie and Shawnee and Jellio, like three of the best coaches on PC, couldn't I? I could ask them to go on Discord with me and stuff. I'm not, I'm not gonna at all, but I could, couldn't I? So, yeah, I think I wouldn't dream of doing it, but I'm sure people, people have done. I'm sure people have done. In, in the world. Uh, 
Uh, are, are they Mr. Marvel and Azu? And I didn't know. I, I, I don't know who all of the uh, who all of the PS4 coaches are because um, because pizza. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, people will do anything to win. People will do anything to win. Some people will do anything to win an even kind of pointless game. Yeah, I could, but I will. No, I never would. I would never do anything dodgy. Um, and I mean, I think that's pretty much outright cheating when coaching. Even, even if it's not explicitly stated as outright cheating, to me it's outright cheating. It's still available, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like him having all all four guys close. He didn't need the fourth back, did he? If this catcher had been over there, he would have had some more options. I guess he can try and dodge everyone out and around and go somewhere. But it's not easy, is it? These four, you could have a cage here. And then you could have the catcher up there, and this guy there, I mean, I guess, oh, well, there you go. See, I've said it already. I've just talked about how I'm not going to try and... <laughs> I'm going to try and not suggest things, and I instantly suggest things. But, um, you know, it's hard not to it, really. Not playing now, just playing in the first round. They were just saying, would it be possible for all of the console people to get eliminated in the first round? <laughs> uh, yeah, they they could they could nearly all get knocked out in the first round. Yeah, I guess that makes that easier for him to get out now. That's quite good, isn't it? Because now that gives him the uh, two plus, two plus to get through. That's pretty good. Pretty good blitz. It's not that. It's not that even though I, you know, I just don't want to be. I don't want to, you know, anyone to feel like I could have been responsible for any decision that was being made by anybody in the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really trying to, you know, play it safe. Madden drawings, I don't think there needs to be any, does there? I think that's more of a replay coaching analysis than, than anything else. He could have just gone through here. <laughs> he did. He, he, he could have just gone one, two. Oh, no, that was a three plus. All right, fair enough. All right, I was being stupid there. I thought this was a two plus. But it wasn't. Fair enough. Mm, it's a bit risky, isn't it? But if you do the 4 plus 2 plus. No. Oh, it's a 4 plus 2 plus, not even a 3 plus 2 plus. <laughs> It'd be a 3 plus 2 plus if you did this guy first. I'd just be making 4 plus instead of 2 pluses, no problem. <laughs> Great as Ungo, it can't go wrong with Derna. Yeah, she's gonna run all the way around, and then this guy's gonna do the four plus. Surely, surely he can't just stand there. He's done quite well with the few, the few players he's got, hasn't he? I think I would have done him last though and dodged him away. But then maybe he thinks if he takes two players to block him, that's that's a win. He might not go for the sack this turn, might he? He doesn't have to. Could surf that guy, couldn't he now? Could just surf him and then run people back. Could go for the sack. Could just blitz this guy. 
the world's his oyster really isn't it with such a huge man advantage yeah that was a bit different so wasn't it Calistine because that's because he was like stealing it so um are oh, Villa happy what, what did Villa Hoppier do? <laughs> yeah, crazy the trees being that far apart. And first half, he was one Dyson. Yeah. Ah, yes, yeah. Any chance, yeah. He, he, he took Blood Bowl home, didn't he? Old Villa Hoppier. Unbelievable. I guess he is going for the sack, the way he's, the way he's facing here, I guess he is going for the sack. Maybe he isn't, oh no, looks, now it looks like he's going for three dice on the catcher, doesn't it? Because otherwise he's leaving him a two plus out, you wouldn't leave him. This is just a weird place to put him, unless you're going to three dice him and then push him to there. Because otherwise you could sandwich him, couldn't you? This just seems like you would never put this guy there if you're not going to play to him. So this this is surely where the blitz is coming, because this is like a nothing, a nothing place to stand otherwise. So yeah, just basing him up because he's got a huge man advantage. I mean, he could have gone for the surf here, but then it is a big commitment, isn't it? Three players in the middle of nowhere. So. Yeah, makes sense to just get the capture done. I think I think surfing would have been fine, but um, you know he would have been he would have ended up with a catcher still standing and three guys in the middle of nowhere. So I can see why he didn't go for it. Go for the surf. Oh, I'm regretting I'm regretting the reroll now. Now that I'm thinking about having you know. Two blodge guard catchers and a mighty blow. Oh no, a blodge guard catcher and a mighty blow tackle dancer and a strip tackle dancer and a dodge leader. And I'm thinking, you know, everyone I'm playing is going to have tackle mighty blow. And I think I probably would have gone for the, the uh, apple now that I think about it. But it's too late. And I think the the app the rerolls may be better earlier. So I think, I think it's all right. Got no idea. Well, this is a PS4 match as well, Steve. Okay. Um, no, no, it's not the Xbox, isn't it? What's the other game? Um, I can't remember. The other game happening right now is Sprinter versus Bud Tuck. But ugly. Right, I can't. I can't say his real name. But ugly. Uh, Sprinters DBVL, and then but Ugly's uh, somebody from PS4, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, Grandmaster. Yeah, you know, it's so it's it's a it's a hard thing to call the the reroll or the apple, but I think with a skill stacking makes, I think skill stacking makes the apple more more desirable in the later rounds but i think in the earlier rounds that the, the reroll is more desirable but it's still very close between them at all stages uh yes silmarils we've had noampto versus spartaco and noampto won in a in a pretty brutal dicing really. oh man he had to do it he had to make that gfi and he rolled a one he had to make that GFI, didn't he? And he had to make this dodge. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and then you'd have had a cage. So, yeah, patience rewarded for Winteros. He can surf him, and he can get to two dice, probably two dice into four dice. He might not surf, because he, he wants to get four dice on the ball with tackle, probably, or two dice with strip. I guess he's got to make his mind up, which he prefers tackle frenzy or just strip. Probably tackle frenzy, I would think. He's got to work out what he wants to do. Yeah, Spartaco was a good was a good shout, but you know every match is a minefield. You know, uh, you you can't really think anyone's going to go far. You know, just because the chance of winning each game there's so much dice involved and no one's crap. So. Yeah, exactly, Notorious Noob. You can't, you really can't expect anybody to go far at all. You might think that, you know, some people have got a better chance to go far than others, which is certainly true. But, um, oh yeah, you can just hit this way, can't you? You just, yeah, you just base them that way. Um, so yeah, oh, that doesn't work to Notorious, but I can tell you. It's 148 because I did the replay of the of the Sparta Core game and then did this one. So I caught me by surprise, I've been left without T. Um, and it was all it was all a rush job to get everything done. <laughs> yeah, I will be putting it um, on YouTube tomorrow, I think, the VOD. Um, but yeah, that's conceding coming, yeah. Now it's getting ridiculous, isn't it, the, the AV breaks now. So we've had two games and two dicing so far. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Yeah, all you could do is... I mean, I think Notorious Noob went out in the first round of the last World Cup, you know, despite being one of the people more likely to win it than others. And and that's it, you know, there's so many there's so many games, there's so much luck involved. And you say especially with A V seven teams, but an A V nine team losing a guy is way worse. You know, so you know, Christopher got his team ruined, you know, and his his team were armor nine mostly. <laughs> Yeah, luckiest team ever. Yeah, if he lives up to his name, he's gonna win for sure. I'm just upset that I got the I got the prediction wrong because literally I forgot that <laughs> I forgot that Went Ross's win rate was so much better than uh, Chelsea's always. But in the end, the dice the dice decided it, not not the play, you know. Zola was a bit sloppy, letting him letting him hit the the leader. Um, maybe defended a bit poorly when he went for the three-man rush there, but even then he was already down four players, so can't hold it against him. Um, and then obviously his his offensive drive was a disaster that time, but he was down four players against Wood Elves, and anybody who's down four players against Wood Elves is going to have a very hard time. So can't really can't really put it on on Zola's bad play that he's lost this one at all. But I was just disappointed that I would I really meant to recommend when Ross to win. <laughs> to win. Uh, but never mind. It doesn't really matter. It was just it was just for fun anyway, the predictions. Wow. They must have agreed to do this. <laughs> it was literally a concede. I mean, that's fair enough, because there's no reason not to allow concedes in this format, you know? Um, th there's no need not to concede here, because at the end of the day, th there's no progression, there's no MVP, he's, he's not getting an advantage from him conceding in that position. He's 2-0 down, loads of players down, why not concede? You know, it's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine, but... 
Having said that, there was plenty of time. There was plenty of turns left, and you know, if he'd made three, if he'd made four Kaz off the uh, LOS and Blitz, not maybe true. he could have won in overtime. The data does not support your but, assertion. Um, <laughs> yeah, Dodd will be flipping out on that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, look, it, it's fair enough. It's fair enough. Uh, looked at the names and said, who do you think you would <laughs> picture me fantastic, glorious? <laughs> so, yeah, I, I would have still played it back. Of course, with back, because it's for the World Cup. And I think it's unbelievable that he, that he conceded. But, yeah, it's fine in terms of the tournament. It's fine that no one's getting an advantage or disadvantage from it from him conceding, but um, it is a bit lame on a personal level that that he did it. But um, right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.